Hey everybody, welcome to the Muddy Reviews. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, this here Nerodos uh, Universal MVG mount. So I found this actual uh, Nerodos mount laying around for a little while actually, this Universal Shroud. Um, and I've just never really wanted to throw it on anything. Um, I kind of saved it for an idea of a kit I might do one day and then just never got around to doing it. And then um, recently, I had uh, a kit that I decided to uh, throw it together on that I'm uh, kind of working on, so I'll get to that. But <clears throat> I wanted to talk about this shroud before I mounted on the helmet, finally, because I thought it would uh, be kind of a cool topic and also something that needs to be talked about because it's a great piece of gear. So this Universal Shroud from Nerodos is a great mount. So my history with the with these uh shrouds is nothing <laughs> no but uh the Nerodos triangle mounts uh the shrouds uh i do know a little bit about so when i was with the uh squadron i had the original black Nerodos uh triangular three hole mount issued to me and that's what we ran on our uh, mitch 2002s and it was a really good mount um the titanium tatums, uh, the short arms were great. I really liked them. They were better than the normal uh, single hole rhinos that you would get with like uh, ACHs and the whatnot. It was a really high speed mount um, for the time. It, it kind of gathered a lot of eyes. We would get these weird looks like, who, who the fuck are these guys? Um, we were nobody. But the gear was kind of in the higher speed realm. But they were really good mounts. I liked them. They were very stable. Uh, they they wouldn't because they mounted by the three the three points uh, when they were on there. They were really on there. They, there was no shimmy, no shake, no movement whatsoever. Like sometimes you could get from a uh, single hold rhino. Now that being said, if you had an issue with a helmet like mine did, where uh, it wasn't drilled properly, the one issue I had was the uh, right side would even though it was screwed in would tend to after a while uh with heavy use would kind of break free of the screw just over time it would just flex off and, and like kind of come up um uh, and that was simply because it was just always under this intense amount of tension because it, the pattern wasn't drilled properly so keep that in mind if you have a helmet that's drilled for these types of stuff check your check your uh tolerances make sure it's right because if it's not and you have one of these mounted, uh, you might have a problem because it actually failed on me uh, on a mission once. And that was that sucked. Anyway, uh, this mount was cool, though, because if you had a mount uh, a helmet that was drilled for the three-hole pattern, uh, it works for you. It's great. It's a wonderful mount. But if you have a helmet that's drilled for a single hole, it also works for you. And now you've got the benefit of this great mount, but only using on a single hole. Because then the Nerodos also made a shroud very similar, but it was a single hole shroud. And it was the same style, but only had the single hole. This kind of brings together uh, the Nerodos um, triangle mount with the uh, with the three hole and the single hole shroud. And I merged them into one, one shroud. And then they started making them in this uh, tan color. And it was really awesome. Uh, this is a 2018 model shroud. And it's great. Something they added too was, I don't know about their single hole shrouds that they released, but I could tell you this from their three hole shrouds. They didn't have this cool gasket here, which helps kind of keep it married to the helmet and, and it keeps it more flush. And it just, it's like more like a no slip pad, I'm assuming, because that's what it feels like. And um, mine didn't really have something like this, my original mount. It was maybe similar, but it wasn't not as rubbery and as robust. So even though when I had it, like I said, uh, it was on the helmet, it, it slipped and that sucked. So when you're running the one hole, this will help kind of keep it in place. Comes with your single hole mounting hardware and your extra three hole screws. You got your three hole screws back here. So pretty cool piece of kit. Um, I really like this thing. And it's great because it allows you to mount it uh, either way. 
and that's fucking phenomenal. So, hope you like this little short overview of this mount. Um, if you got an ACH, it'll work for you. If you've got something that's drilled for three holes, it'll work for you. It's just a great mount. They're 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 wonderful, and they're they can be found pretty cheap. Um, I saw them as cheap as twenty five bucks online, and I've seen them going for as high as sixty bucks. I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can find them on eBay and give you a couple different ideas of. I'll, I'll link to some of the cheaper ones I can find, and I'll link to some of the higher ones, like brand new ones. And so you can see kind of like uh, what you're working with. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I'll try to answer it. As always, uh, get out there, play Airsoft, have a good time. Um, if you get something like this, though, and you have a, have the, the money and the opportunity, and you have the and you want to run real nods and you can, uh, do it. Use your gear. And if you do use your gear, know your gear. Learn it. Love it. And read your fucking instruction sheets and your manuals and know how to actually use it. Don't just fly, fly by the seat of your pants and put the shit on there willingly because you might fuck it up. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Actually, I got one more thing for you. I totally lied. So, in the last video that I posted uh, about the arc rails... I mentioned I would show you uh, this mount on the helmet, so I'm going to do just that. So this is what the mount looks like installed on the helmet, because I went ahead and installed it real quick. And this is what a finished uh, ACH looks like with the rails and with this wonderful single mount on here. So one hole, now using the three uh, triangular screw points, just a single hole on an ACH. Looks fucking fantastic. Now that's all I got for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, guys.